Hi everybody, George here from Paintball Revolution. So we do have the Etha 2 here and we I'm gonna do a quick unboxing, talk about the product a little bit. Not like we did on our Instagram. I'm gonna actually open it up this time. All right, so here we go. There it is. Okay, so the Etha 2 comes in this cardboard box, but then inside of it, there is actually this really nice, uh, kind of reminds me of an old CD wallet but uh, it's a really nice case. It's got some rigidity to it. And opening it up, it's got that classic Planet Eclipse, everything in its spot sort of situation going on. So as you can see, we got the manual, barrel cover, spare parts kit. We've got that Planet Eclipse tool that has the Allen keys as well as that T-handle. I've talked about it in previous videos. Uh, the Marker lube, two piece barrel set, and of course, the marker itself. So let's take a look at that. So again, let me just, it is a two piece barrel set. Let me just put this together so you guys can see it. The planet clip stuff is reverse threaded. So there's the Ether 2 out of the box. It's kind of, it's a really nice looking marker. And right away you could see that there is no tubing, there's no macro line, and it does have a kind of a clever Pops ASA. A little bit different of a design from the, the uh, classic Pops ASAs, but it still does that pop open, snap shut. Um, so again, there's no macro line, which means that the air is actually going up from the ASA straight through the, the body here which means that the regulator, much like we saw in the CS1, is moved from the front to the back here, just on top of the ASA. I'll show you guys that in a, in a quick second. And that allows it to go straight up into the marker and then all through the solenoid and through the marker itself. But that eliminates the necessity for not just the macro line, but also the AT pipe and the, and the previous style markers from the Planet Eclipse. Uh, so I'm gonna show you guys real quick, I wanna turn it on because there is kind of a neat feature. If you were following us, at extravaganza you might have already seen this but with these indicator lights here you can't see them from straight on they're kind of recessed back in here so as you can see from the sides they don't really show up as you're playing but if you're holding it you can see them in your perspective whether you're right-handed or left-handed you'll see them from either side because there is one on both sides of the of the body of the marker but again they're recessed in there so you can't see them. So kind of a neat feature. They're right there for you to see, but not to give away your position. Those are the indicator lights. Um, so let me open this up real quick. Uh, speaking of power, here is the nine volt battery right up front. So we've seen something similar to that in the CS1s where they had the two double A's in the grip. These have this, this plug that snaps into place on either side and then locks there. And the nine volt battery is held up in there with that. Kind of neat. Same sort of toolless feature on the back of the grip here. There's a little tab that pulls away there, which allows you to lift up the back of the grip and then snap away from the top, the front of that grip. And there you go. Now we can see some of the internals. Just real quick, I want to show you guys, there is also a small guide in there showing you what the LEDs mean inside of that grip. Uh, so here's some of the internals that we were talking about. As I mentioned, the regulator is right above the ASA. You can see it in there. And then there is a transfer pipe that goes up into the solenoid. And that's how the air is making its way from your tank into the marker. Let's take out the core real quick, show you guys that. That is a gamma core. So we've seen some of that in the previous markers that Planet Eclipse has released. It is that same gamma core. It does have a little bit different porting in the back of the can here, but you are running on a gamma core. Now I want to show you guys the, the way the eyes work here. Now because the board is obviously not in the front or the back grip, that means that it's actually down inside the marker itself so once you get that eye cover off, you can see down inside here, the board is actually just down inside of there. And I specifically took off this left side eye cover just to make a quick note. The tournament lock is actually right here. 
right where I'm putting that Allen key. That's where the tournament lock is. You can reach that from underneath that left eye cover. So let me pull this other one off real quick. And I want to show you guys something neat with the eye covers. Uh, you might have noticed that there are no eye wires. So the eyes are actually on the board itself right down here on either side. And they're facing straight out. On the back of the eye cover, there's this small prism here. So what's actually happening, instead of having an eye up into the, the breech of the marker, those eyes on the board are just reflecting into this prism, which is bringing it up and reflecting into the breech. And that's how it connects. So on either side, it's bringing that beam and that's how you're getting your eyes. So there's no wires to be fishing through, uh, nothing to really be uh, shoved up into the body of the marker there. It's just moving it through with this prism. So as long as you keep that clean, you should be good. Uh, so let's pull this body off real quick. I want to show you guys that board down inside of there. There's two screws, one on the back here that you can see me messing with. And there's another one right under this trigger guard here. So there's that back screw. And there we go. So those are the two screws holding the body to the frame. Now, when you lift it up, it's actually latched in the front there. You can see where it's pivoting. That just slides out. There's that little tab that connects to the front and that's how, how it latches in. So there's that board that I'm talking about. So you can see the whole board running here. It's connected there to the solenoid, which is running down to the transfer tube all the way down to the regulator. And the two eyes, as I mentioned on the board, right there. So that's how the eye covers work. It collects that beam and just reflects it back up into there. So there's the board. This is really the nuts and bolts of the marker. You can see pretty much everything in there. Um, now, on this portion of the marker, the inside body of this is actually an aluminum body and the outside of this is you know, it's kind of like a composite shroud. Now Planet Eclipse is gonna make the CAD files available. So if you wanted to customize, if you wanted to customize this body, you could actually get those CAD files and print yourself one of these or have it milled or whatever you wanna do. You could actually create one of these. A lot like what we did with our Planet Eclipse triggers that were uh, that worked on the CSRs, the CS1s, the 160Rs. If you guys haven't seen those, they're on our website. We created some triggers that fit on the shoes of those markers that was made public by Planet Eclipse. That CAD file, we just redesigned those and created those triggers for those particular markers. They're going to do the same with this particular piece. So there's the internal workings of it. And this is really just the feed neck and the uh, transfer for the, for the hopper to get the balls into this portion here. So you can pull that off, make your custom one using their, their CAD files, and then really just put it back together as long as it fits snug. There you go. It's all back together again. So that's kind of a neat, neat feature. I'm really excited to see what's going to happen out in the wild with these guys. Now to put it back together, once you slid that, those two pieces together, you just put that right there on that tab, press it back down, put your screws back in, your eye covers, and it's ready to go. So really quite simple. That's pretty much the entire marker. So that is the Etha 2. Like I said, it's a really great, great piece. It's a great price. No no wires, no pipes, no transfer tubes. Really kind of neat. These are available on our website, guys, so go ahead and check them out on www.paintballrevolution.com. If you have any questions, please feel free to, to drop us a line, get in contact with us. We love to hear from you guys, and we're here to help out. All right, so that's about it. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Thanks for watching.